Is that my lunch is jacked up? Lakery. Lakery. That is not what I heard. <laughs> What'd you hear? I'm not saying. Oh, no. Hey, happy Mother Loving Tuesday. Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Tease. I'm T. And I'm Twiz. <laughs> and Twiz heard something other than Lakery, because I'm wearing my Lakers jacket today. Lakery. Because um, I love LeBron. I do. Yeah. And my uh, congratulations to uh, my South Carolina Gamecocks, who won the championship this weekend. Oh, my gosh. Don Staley is the GOAT, um, undeniably. Yeah. Uh, perfect season. 36 and 0. Amazing. 36 and 0. Do you know how hard it is to win every game in a season? And last season, they won every game except for the championship. Mm. So last season, they won 35 games. So the season before that, they won every game except for two. They only won 34 games. Like, just the GOAT. Just the GOAT. Hey, good morning, Jamie. Morning, Kate. Hey, morning, morning Maxie. Maxie. Happy Mother Loving Tuesday. Did you guys watch the game? Um, women's college basketball, amazing. I tell you, nobody cared about the men's. Like, there yeah. was news about the men's. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what did the women do? It's true. Yeah. It's true. Mm-hmm. We've got a jam pack uh, week for you today, starting oh, yeah. with today's holiday, which is National Unicorn Day. Oh, yeah. I like unicorns. You like the horn? I do. I like the horn. Hey, good morning, Helen. I like the, I do. So, what do you, how do you feel about the Harry Potter um, unicorn? Because that guy's like a, like murderous, right? No. Wait, how'd they go? They murdered the unicorn for the, for the blood in the horn. Oh, I have that backwards. Yeah. That's sad. That Don't murder sad. unicorns. Yeah. Give them hugs. Tomorrow is National <laughs> Sibling Day. Spider unicorns. Uh, how many siblings do you have? Five. I wore a unicorn horn for my birthday last year. Perfect. <laughs> nice job, Jamie. Me too. I have five siblings as well. I'm the youngest. You're the youngest? Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm the middle child, obviously. What's it like being the youngest? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I learn a lot. I learn a lot. Okay. I mean, you get a lot of hand me downs. Mm-hmm. That's not, do you like them? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday. Nope. Thursday is National Cheese Fondue Day. I love cheese fondue. I've never had cheese fondue. Oh, my God. I just love cheese. It's on my list. Oh, so good. Yeah. It's so good. What is your favorite cheese? Cheddar. Nice. I like a good Munster. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Levy. Uh, oh, Friday. National Grilled Cheese. <laughs> I was looking at the other one. Oh. Um, you recently made a grilled cheese. Yeah, I make well, we make grilled cheese all the time at work, and we put it on our sourdough, and it's delicious. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, glad we got that out there. <laughs> Saturday is peach cobbler day. Um, I love peach cobbler, it is delicious. It sounds good. I've yeah. never had it. Oh, Maxie loves brie. That's what I'm talking about. I love brie too. Like, I stopped myself. I'm all done. Uh, Sunday is Good Deeds Day. Do okay. a good deed. Do a good deed. I had a good deed idea. Do you want to hear it? Go for it. Okay, so my good deed idea was I would find like random elderly people and I would push them over and then I would help pick them up. And then that would be my good deed. It is not. It's not? No. No? I'm kidding. Do not push over <laughs> elderly people, please. It's not very nice. Um, Good deed. I don't know. Um, I guess I could uh, volunteer, you know. Um, oh, uh, Jenny Wheeler is always looking for volunteers for yeah, Family, uh, Table, family Collaborative. Table Collaborative. So can try that uh, this weekend and just see how that goes. And that sounds cool. So hopefully you'll do a good deed this weekend. Um, please do not push over elderly people. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, Monday is World Art Day. <laughs> so go look at some art. Yeah. Art is amazing. Art is everywhere. Art is subjective. Art is important. You're doing art right now. Art is everywhere. Um, support your artists. Yeah. 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 Pickles. <laughs> uh, how about the song clue? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So yeah, it. the song clue is hurry up. Mm-hmm. And the artist clue is has to do with the holiday of the week. <laughs> Vague. So hard. So hard. Maxie's going to get it. Like, she has it already. It's all right. I'm watching you, Maxie. She's in the room. With love. Oh. Check it. 
Uh, how about some truth for Tuesday? The only limits we have are the ones we place upon ourselves. Regina Hall. It, it's just, it's so simple and just so honest and so true. So did anybody go to the go-to? <laughs> did anyone experience uh, the solar eclipse yesterday? It's not a place you can go, but a thing you can experience. Um, so Lovey and I went to someplace in Yarmouth. I don't remember where we went, but um, one, I looked at the sun for a second, like one second. And then like that streak that I give, uh, ah, like one of those, you know, uh, that was there for like five minutes and I got scared. So I used the glasses from then on. Uh, please use glasses. How did the president look at the solar eclipse a couple years ago and still be, you know what? Let me mind my business. What I'm trying to say is uh, <laughs> the limits that we put on ourselves are not helping us. So if you made intentions yesterday, um, if you set intentions yesterday, I hope you did. Um, I hope it were they were more than just words i hope that you have the strength to implement them um i hope that you are excited to try something different um i hope you just had a good time you know it's something that wouldn't happen for like another 17 years i believe so that's pretty cool um i just think that as we grow listen i'm on this like healing journey man and i've learned a lot of things about myself some cool some not cool some just like oh <laughs> well i explained some stuff so as I continue on this journey, um, I I'm finding that being open to um, knowing that as comfortable as I am right now, um, I should be trying to do something different, you know, um, allowing, not allowing my comfortability or my, what I feel are my limits to stop me to continue to pursue after whatever it is I'm going after. And you can do the same is what I'm trying to say. Uh, do not limit yourself with the ideas of the person you used to be. Be comfortable with the person you're trying to be. Be that every day so that you will become that. Um, be strong, be confident, and we love you and good luck. Oh, I'm going to hop into some good news. So I saw this good news story and I thought it was super cool. And, oh, I heard this on, um, oh, what's that? Uh, wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, which is my very favorite um, radio program. And I say radio program because I'm 40 years old. So let's hop into this. So this good news story came from a Good News Network and is written by no other than Andy Corbley, of course. So I'm pretty sure you guys heard this too, but let's talk about it anyway. The headline reads, 100,000 salmon spill off a truck in Oregon and most land in the creek and survive. I mean, okay, the whole point of a headline is so that you know exactly what the story is about, but we know exactly what the story is about. It just seems, you know, all of it is in the headline, but there's still more information that can be learned. So let's talk about it. I think that's really cool. If you're a salmon, are you just like, oh man, this is it. And then you hear a bump and then you fall out. You're just like, oh, let me figure this out. It's pretty cool. All right. Disaster struck a disaster struck a truck. Oh no, not the disaster struck a truck. Oh, Disasters Andy Corbley stuck a truck. Andy Corbley, I am I am just proud. I'm just proud. Disaster struck a truck, uh, transporting <laughs> 102,000 young salmon to a hatchery in Oregon when it overturned on a road and the giant fish tank it was carrying burst open. Oh, However, fish. right? That's a lot of. It got fishy. Ew. It got fishy. However, luck was on the side of the small fries. Oh, my God. Andy, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Almost all of whom rode the wave of water out of the tank and into the uh, Looking Glass Creek, the uh, waterway which connects with the hatchery that they are traveling to. Wow, convenient. Like, done so. <laughs> the driver just um, had just had just uh, left to a uh, local hatchery in or Elegan, Oregon, about 300 miles east of Portland with 800,000 pounds of salmon and water. I forgot Is about the water. Oregon or Oregon? Uh, who you asking? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Over there. It's over there. His eventual destination was the uh, Imahana uh, River near Looking Glass Hatchery and North East Oregon, Oregon, but with <laughs> early morning dew on the roads, the driver skidded, which is terrifying, oh. while heading towards a, um, a sharp curve. And the yaw, and the yaw, and the yaw, and the yaw. Is that what that's called? I guess 
and the yell of the water-filled container brought it down onto it, its side before sending it sliding over the road and down into uh, the rock embankment. Hopefully the driver is okay, because that is terrifying. A little, a little rattled, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, it was one of the most disastrous in history of the program, dating back to 1982, wow. <laughs> which uh, brings Salmon Smoltz, first of all, that feels slanderous, yeah. um, of young salmon from river hatcheries downstream to hatcheries um, stopped up by dams for uh, upstream, uh, far upstream. So while 24,000 of the smolts, again, slander, weren't able to flop their way from the bank to the river, 77,000 were. So some of those were were helped. Uh, typically, the smolts yeah. are brought up to the river hatcheries a short time before their eventual journey to the Pacific Ocean. Wow. Um, so that's, you know, a couple of them made it, you know. Um, not, nothing much about the driver. I hope they're okay. <laughs> like, it, it doesn't matter. The salmon's um, what matters. So, yeah. So that guy's good. That girl's good. I don't know. That person's that person. They made it. Sounds fishy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> so check that story out if you want. It's pretty cool. Did you do your what the what? Or are we just in good news? Good news. Okay, great. Good news. So my good news story is also written by no one other than Andy, Andy Corbley. Corbley. So the title of this article is Global Life Expectancy Rises by 6.2 Years After Drop in Deaths from Stroke, Diarrhea, and Respiratory Infections. No, wait a second. Death by diarrhea. People are dying by poop? Yeah. Yeah, dehydration. It's a bad way to go. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crappy. Reductions in deaths from leading killers in the developing world, such as diarrhea, lower respiratory infections, such as bronchitis and pneumonia, and stroke, have raised the global life expectancy by more than six years since 1990, a new study revealed. Um, improved health care and better de disease prevention also helps people live longer until government-mandated lockdowns uh, and business closures disrupted global supply chains and reversed the trend, but, trend during the pandemic years. Wow. So researchers from the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation eh, me. mm -hmm, studied causes of death around the world over the last three decades and analyzed how global life expectancy changed during that period. They found that overall life expectancy is up by 6.2 years since 1990, with the most pronounced reduction in deaths recorded between 1999 and 2019 in Oceania, East Asia, and Eastern Sub-Saharan Africa. Well, that's high. So, yeah, this was driven by a sharp drop in deaths from in enteric diseases, including diarrhea, typhoid, and significantly reduced mortality from lower respiratory oh, infections. Typhoid is still a thing. That's isn't that that's nuts? scary, man. That's so so sad. Eastern Sub-Saharan Africa experienced the largest life expectancy increase of ten point seven years. Yeah, as it should be. So I think there's more to it. There's a lot more to it. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole article to you because it's going to be a long, that would be a long show. Right. But definitely keep in mind that our life expectancy went up and go take a peek at the article and look at how amazing <gasps> we made it. It is. We made it. We made it. We got 6.2 more years added. Oh, thank gosh. Right? <laughs> needed that find, six years. <laughs> to finally pay off that uh, student loan. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, so I saw this what the what it's time for what the what what the what and I saw this thing and I was just like oh I have to oh I have to Mr. so Cooper. this is written by uh, UPIC or UPI um, uh, urinary um, what blah, blah, blah. United, United Press International <laughs> United Press International this is written by Ben Hopper and the headline reads Florida woman finds nearly eight foot alligator inside her home. And then the opening open. line should be, she burned her house down. That should be the opening line. Um, so a Florida woman had to call 911 to get help ejecting an unwanted uh, house guest, a nearly eight foot alligator. How do you turn the corner and just like alligator? I don't know. Did you leave your doors wide open? Like Mary Hollenbeck said that she was at her home in uh, Venice's Grand Palm community when she heard banging on the front screen door. 
I thought it was somebody else who didn't live here trying to get into the wrong house, Hollenbeck told uh, WTVT. Uh, I got off the couch and came around the door, prepared to say, you're in the wrong place. Hollenbeck said uh, she had two thoughts that when she saw the, the actual source of the sound. One was, oh gosh, I have an alligator in my house. Number two is, oh gosh, I have an alligator in my house. How am I going to get rid of him? Those are two really good places to start. Okay, good job, Hallam Beck. Um, so <laughs> she called 911 and it ended up taking the combined efforts of several Saratona uh, County Sheriff's deputies <laughs> and Florida Fish and Wildlife Co Conservation Commission officers to get the seven foot and 11 inch alligator out of the house. Uh, the homeowner, homeowner said that the gator must have traveled from a nearby pond to force its way through her door. Uh, he had to go through two yards, cross the street, and come into my house, but nobody saw him. And it's just very surprising. That gator had it out for her. Like, she needs to check who, who, how many ops she got out there, because that sounds suspicious. Yeah. Uh-huh. Somebody's trying to get at you, Hollenbeck. Watch your back. Hollenbeck should watch your back. Have you seen, like, that video of... um? You know how two different people react to alligators and it's on a, a golf field golf course or whatever so it's golf course you one know? person's like oh one no. person's like oh god and then the other person goes up to the alligator taps it on the tail and then it like goes into the water i was like that person don't be that person i'm the first person that, okay that's self-preservation yeah it's number one in my book I'm trying to stick here it's fair the video is wild that's fair he the sounds that they make are like they make sounds. Alligators, yeah. yeah. I guess that makes sense. What sounds they make? Can you make the sounds? No, <laughs> but it is like this. It, it's it vibrates the whole ground. Like ah, <laughs> not quite. But it literally, like their bodies vibrating, so it no. vibrates the ground. It's like a dinosaur. Oh. You're getting there. Oh. You're getting. You're getting there. Oh. I think T's a great alligator. <laughs> Tickle me. Good morning. Love you, buddy. Love you too, buddy. Uh, what's next? Uh, we have three announcements for you. We got this Friday, Improv Cape Cod at the Cape Media Center on Chad Holt Road. <laughs> Um, doors open at 6.30. It starts at 7. You can buy tickets also at improvcapegod.com. T-Dactyl. Love you, said T-Dactyl. That's what they sound, sound like, right? Definitely. Yeah. It's not? I think it's more like a screech. Oah! Sure. <laughs> That's the one. I knew it. Got it. Uh, the Core July is having a bucket drumming from April 26th to May 31st, uh, Fridays 4.15 to 5 o'clock. It is hosted by the ZYG 808, uh, ages 5 to 8. It is a free event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'll be performing at the Federated Church in Orleans this Thursday from 2 to 4, I believe. Um, it's free, of course. Um, it is called Adventures in Art and entertainment, the making of a poet. So um, me and two other poets Amazing. are going to read some of our work and then talk about our work and how we wrote it. And uh, it's going to be a good old literary time. Yeah. Good so, old literary time. Good old literary time. So come check that out. Yeah. So yeah. we got new week, new song clues. <clears throat> um, but before we, we're going to go over the holidays of the week first. Tuesday is Unicorn Day. Wednesday is National Sibling Day. Thursday is National Cheese Fondue Day. Friday is National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. Saturday is Peach Cobbler Day. Sunday is Good Deeds Day. And Monday is World Art Day. Uh, the song clue is Hurry Up! And the artist clue is has to do with one of the holidays of the week. <laughs> it's hard this week. Yeah. 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 I feel good about it. Like, who would you say hurry up to? Uh, yeah. From the list that, that we read. I've said that so many times. Well, the artist has to do with the list that we read. Yeah. Hurry Up has to do with the name of the song. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry Up! Who, who has to do... Who, 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 I really want to know. That's not the song. Uh, I just can't wait. Uh, and no, who's MGMT? Like management? I don't know. K 
kids? It's a great guess. Yeah, kids are cool. I like kids. I sounded wild. You know what? It only sounded wild because society is weird and inappropriate. Uh, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. No. No. So the artist clue has, has to do with one of the holidays of the week. So think of the mm -hmm. holidays of the week. And which one? They're ones? famous. Yeah. Like, I was just singing them um, in the house the other day. You know, like, sometimes you start singing a song and then, like, you sing it, sing it like the artist. And then, like, you say to the artist what the artist would say to, like, the other artist that they sing it with. Yeah, I, I get you. Right? I get you. Yeah. Once we get the answer, I'll show you what I mean. I, if I say it now, like, everybody's going to get it. Famous grilled, Famous grilled cheeses. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Give it up for her body. <laughs> mm. That's my lovey's favorite cheese. She loves Havarti cheese. She's so awesome. Havarti. Havarti, Havarti dill is really good. Would you call me? Havarti dill cheese. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. Uh, Madonna, no. No. Um, so no. it's not unicorns, and it's not grilled cheese, and it's not cheese, and mm -mm. it's not peach cobbler, and it's not good deeds, and it's not world art. The only thing that's left is National Sibling Day. What? What? So think of some famous siblings. Uh, siblings. Um, and then uh, what would these siblings say to each other? And that that would be like the song clue, which would be hurry up. Jeez. Or um, when? Like Thompson Twins. No. Or like any day now? Uh -huh. Yes, Helen. So yes, the Jackson, Jackson five. 5. Nice, nice, nice. Go ahead, Helen. Uh, so what song would, um, I guess, be a response or, or a prequel? Yeah. To hurry up! Or when? Yeah. If someone said that, and then Jackson 5 would say. I almost sang it. I was so close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jackson 5 was, I was in my kitchen, I was singing the other day, like, I was singing the song, actually. And I was like, come on, Tito, I ain't got all day. <laughs> and I was like, why would Michael Jackson sound like that? Yes, Maxie, I'll be there. The Jackson 5, I'll be there. Great job. That was a, a, was a, a collaborative event. Yeah. Nice job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> can't touch your off. Can't touch this. Oh, um, the eclipse yesterday. Did you look at it? I did, with glasses with <laughs> I was telling them how, like, I looked at it for, a, like, a second. I was like, ah, because I forgot. And then, like, I saw, like, this streak. And it was there for, like, five minutes. And I was like, oh, man. T, you could have burned your retinas and, out. And I was like, wait, like, now am I an Avenger? Because, like, you know? Like, I is that know. how it, That's is that how it would, you know what I mean? No. no so no. I just felt like I have superpowers now. Well, if you do, let me mm -hmm. know. Okay. And then we'll try it again in the next 20 years. Next 20 years. All right. If you had a superpower, what would it be? I have no idea. Would you want to fly, be invisible, be or be super strong? I guess I think I'd like be invisible, honestly. Yeah. I think I want to fly. I, I'm afraid of heights, but it would be really convenient to fly. Do you know be. what I mean? Like for like a day, because this has got to get yeah, like yeah. tiring, man. This it's gotta be a lot. After like day two, just like come on. Yeah, like just floating everywhere. Everyone calls you the lazy bird. <laughs> Glide in the places. You thought you thought this out. I have. Yes. <laughs> if you guys could be, if you could be, if you could fly and be invisible or be super strong, which one would you choose? Yeah. I'm gonna stick with my invisibility. You would pick invisibility. I like that. Uh, Kate said a lot. Uh, so. You know what, Kate? I don't, I haven't, I don't, don't know. Uh, did we start already? Did the season start? Uh, Maxie would fly. I'd be super strong emotionally. <laughs> Good job, Jane. I think that's important. Yeah. That must be nice. <laughs> uh, just saying. Just, you know what, Kate? I, I don't.
I don't I don't know because it I haven't been paying attention. Is it a dig? Is it good? Are they doing good? Okay. I don't watch do I look like I watch baseball? Nothing about you <laughs> says I watch baseball. All right, all right. I'm glad we got that out of the way. How about me? No, it looks like you watch basketball. I do. I watch a lot of basketball. Yeah. Shout out to my South Carolina Gamecocks. Took it all the way home. Don Staley is the GOAT. Uh, she Helen won three has games. the power to heal others. That can get exhausting, Ooh. though. That sounds cool, though. People the power would be, to heal like, others. lining up at your door. That'd be cool, but you get to help people. That's true. And that's pretty cool. And, like, if we got a hangover, just give yourself one of those. Just, you know, hangover done. That'd be so cool. If you got a headache, just done. Could you heal yourself if you had the power to heal? That's a great question. Right? There's got to be a loophole. There's a loophole to every power. Right? What if, like, you can heal yourself, but, like, you have consistent flatulence? Like, every time you heal someone, you have to fart. That would make things really awkward. <laughs> just. <laughs> All right. Here, I'm going to start healing you, someone. but just so you know. I'm going to have to let one go. I got to let one go. Listen, do you want to live or not? Okay. Just got to deal with it. Just hold your breath. You got to take it. Just hold your breath. Yeah, this flatulence, it's from God. God. You got to deny God. Maybe the flatulence heals. <laughs> Maybe it's the flatulence. It just, you know. It has the healing properties. You know, it like, just wafts into you and heals you. How sat like smells used to be in cartoons. It just like yeah. wafts into your nose. And now you're healed. Perfect. Perfect. What else do you need? Exactly. What else do you need? That's your new superpower. You know? Healing farts. Yeah. That's a good one. I wonder what their diet is. It's got to be meat. Yeah, because you have beans to keep, for sure. If you have to keep farting, yeah. Yeah. You got you to gotta pump that thing up. Dang. So, I'm going to be thinking about this. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> See? Helen's probably like, I, I didn't say any of that. <laughs> this isn't what I meant. <laughs> but what I meant was. Yeah, sorry, Helen. That's your loophole. No. <laughs> the loophole is sometimes, you know, you heal people with farts. Good morning. Yep. That's that's it. That's that's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good loophole. It is a loophole. Yeah. We just created our own superhero. Yeah. Ooh, uh, fartastic. Um, I love that. The fart fartastic. The flat shoe something. Oh my gosh. The the, the flatulent healer. <laughs> I like the one, but it's a little too long. Yeah. Uh, the fart handshake. <laughs> the fart heart. The fart heart. Oh, the five heartbeats. The, the fart five beats. heartbeats. The <laughs> heartbeats. Here on Coffee with Tease. <laughs> the fart beats. We're patenting this. It's, it's oh, we ours. should keep it. We should keep it. It's our superhero now. It's our superhero. Yeah. Whose name is uh, Fartastic. Fartastic. Uh, yeah. Fart healer. Gas girl. Gas girl. Oh, <gasps> that's so good. Gas girl. Yeah. What happened? I broke my leg. Well, hold on. Gas girl. <laughs> Did someone call me? Rip Rip it. It. Good one. <laughs> That's how she feels. <laughs> Remember, you have improv Cape God this Friday at seven. <laughs> Stay tuned to Coffee with Tea so we can write this comic book together. Yes, about Gas Girl ripping it. <laughs> um, this Thursday for at oh four fifteen is bucket drumming on Friday. Not even Thursday. April 26th to May 21st at the Core July. That, yeah, that. And and then your thing is this Thursday. My thing is this Thursday at the Federated Church in Orleans. Um, it is a free event and uh, poetry. Me and two other poets are going to share our work and um, how we got to where we are. There will be no fart talk, but who knows? Maybe. Could be. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Don't steal our idea. Yeah. Yeah. Gas Girl is ours, okay? Hmm. So let's all get into the writing room and, and you know, air it out. Perfect. Remember that. Hurt, hurt people hurt people, so keep an eye on your pain. Stay safe, Godspeed, and we will see you next week. Deuces. Have a great, great gate. What? 
Have a great good, day. Good, 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 yeah. good, uh, have a great day. <laughs> Spread some love.